This fourth Sunday of Advent um, stresses the Davidic line of Jesus. Um, it talks about his connection because it's important for the fulfillment of, of people's hopes and dreams, of Israel's hopes and dreams, that this Messiah be of David's line. That doesn't mean a lot to us. I don't know about you. It doesn't kind of get me excited. Uh, it's the it's the title of Jesus that has the least impact in my life. Son of David. Oh, what? Um, it doesn't kind of hit home. It's important to understanding who Christ is in, in the overall picture. But what about to you? What about to me? What does this mean? One of the things it means is faithfulness. It means that God is kind of uh, acting as the guardrails of history. That within God's wide embrace, there's all this activity going on, uh, but God is faithful. You know, the, the image of the Davidic line building from David, the shepherd boy, to the man who wouldn't shrink from an exploitative sexual relationship with someone else's wife, um, soldier, murderer. I mean, it's just it, all of these horrible things, David, and God kind of shapes that stuff and moves it forward, and moves it forward, and moves it forward till the full flower of Jesse is born in Jesus Christ. So that's what this Sunday is about. It says, you know, here we are in this uh, COVID thing and vaccines are coming, but we don't know how long it'll take to get them everywhere. And I'm still worried, I don't know about you, um, but to have this sense that God's got God's arms around all of this and is somehow helping shape it to a future that's whole and healthy. Um, it's the same thing with social problems. It's like, is the racism thing going to get better or are we going to try to forget about it? Um, but is God moving it forward? And it has moved forward despite fits and starts in this country over 400 years. It's long from finished, but it's, it's moving in the direction. So Dr. King said, you know, the moral arc of the universe tends towards justice. Why? Because God's bending the arc and moving it that way. So let's keep that spirit of hope up as we move through this week to the feast of Christmas and understand that if God with us means anything, it means God is with us, in us, around us, holding, shaping, moving everything in the direction that is more whole, that is more holy. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and have a blessed Christmas.